I want to spend a few moments talking about this new line of bags from Think Tank. This is their Suburban Disguise line. This is the Suburban Disguise 30, the largest in the line. I did a quick one minute review of this in my spring into summer giveaway because this is one of the bags um, or one of the items that I'm giving away. I may have used the term bulletproof. I probably shouldn't. I don't have any lawyers to check with, but I probably shouldn't use that term because I don't believe they're actually bulletproof. But what I mean by that is that they are really nicely made bags, really well thought out, really well put together, and they're gonna last. I own, um, or the total group of think tank bags that I've used or own as part of our gear system is over uh, four bags, and all of them are just wonderful, and um, you know, some of them have now been going on for two years, um, and they look brand new. Let's talk about a couple of the features of this bag, or let's look at what I have inside first really quickly. Um, as I said, it's the larger one of their sh Suburban Disguise shoulder bags. Easily room for the 70 to 200 in here right now. I also have the T4i with the 18 to 135 in here, and there's space for more. It's got this nice little flap on top where you can keep your extra memory card bits. And then let's poke down at the bottom here. We have these little uh, neoprene pouches on either side that are great for sticking your lens cap in. And one of the neat features of this bag is there's actually a dedicated space for an iPad. Um, I've been keeping an Android tablet in there, but that sits right in there. And then of course on the front you have your, a little bit more room for gadgets like a circular polarizer and pens and pencils. And I always love, these are great to clip into your card wallets. And many times if you buy directly from Think Tank, they will include a nice little card wallet for free um, if you spend, I think it's more than $50. And then under this Velcro flap is another larger, and it has um, more room for, you could put another iPad in there or a manual or camera book. And another nice touch is the integrated rain uh, cover for this bag. Now this bag is certainly can get sprinkled on without having to put that rain cover on, but it does give you some nice extra peace of mind. Other little details that just really make this bag nice is you've got this little bit of an extra flap here um, where the shoulder strap buckles in and that just keeps the metal piece from rubbing against the zipper and it keeps it quieter um, and doesn't wear out the zipper by rubbing. I also really like that these shoulder straps um, independently swivel. So if you put it on and find yourself all twisted, you just untwist it by moving that. Shoulder strap, as I said, is very beefy. It's got a nice padded shoulder piece to it. And just all in all, really well made bag. Uh, if you're watching this before the beginning of summer 2013, this is one of the items in my giveaway. There's details down below this video. If you're watching it after, I'm sorry that giveaway is over, but as I said, this is a fantastic bag. And if you have any questions about this bag or would like to see additional pictures of gear in it, um, just click down below. There is a link that will show you kind of some detailed examples of different um, gear laid out in this bag. And there are additional padded inserts that you can use as well. This was the Think Tank Suburban Disguise 30 bag review. And as I said, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Please subscribe. I have lots more videos coming, and thanks for watching.